What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel and another episode of Weekend Watch where I break down the top five movies at this past weekend's box office, but I also let you know what brand new films to expect in your local theater this coming weekend and also on streaming services. So a beast was let out of its cage this past weekend and a lot of us just assumed that it would claim the number one spot, but unfortunately for Idris Elba, that was not the case. What did claim number one? Dragon Ball Super Superhero with $20.1 million. Now, honestly, this does not surprise me much because in the past, big anticipated anime titles that have come out in theaters like this usually do extremely well. They bring in the money. So having an anime title at number one, not that big of a surprise, like I mentioned, because honestly, there really isn't that much going on at the box office. As we've talked about before, August is kind of a ghost town. Actually, going into September, we're not even really getting a bunch of great titles until late September, going into the fall season, October, November. So anime is ruling right now at number one. In the second and third spot, Second place is Beast with $11.5 million. Not the best, certainly not the worst, but I would have expected just a little bit of a higher number, especially when you have such a great actor as Idris Elba in your film. And then also at number three, we have Bullet Train, not even close to $100 million after three weekends at the box office. This is not good for Brad Pitt. I don't know if, that's, if that means something for his star power or not, but it's definitely not good with another $8 million for its box office total. And then in fourth and fifth place, fourth place, Top Gun Maverick still hanging in that top five with $5.8 million. And then also at fifth place, we have DC League of Super Pets with $5.7 million. So what is new to the box office this coming weekend? The last weekend before Labor Day weekend, what is coming? Not really that much, I got to be honest. Nothing that really knocks my socks off. But we do have three options out there for you. So we have The Invitation, a new horror film. If I were to go out and see anything, I would probably go and see that one. Then we have a movie based on true events called Breaking. And then also another Idris Elba film, this time with Tilda, with Tilda Swinton, called 3,000 Years of Longing. So if you don't want to go and see anything in the theater, you're kind of bored with everything, lackluster, you're just not interested, there's always options on stream streaming for you. So over on Netflix, we have Me Time, another film with Kevin Hart, and also this time he's teaming up with Mark Wahlberg. And there's also a series called Partner Track. On HBO Max, we have a documentary called Katrina Babies and also House of Ho Season 2. Over on Hulu, we have a film called Hostile Territory. Over on Disney+, Plus, this is falling into the rumor category because it was not confirmed, but according to the 45-day window, on this coming Wednesday, I believe the 24th, Thor Love and Thunder should be dropping on Disney Plus, but I am not saying it's absolutely happening because it was not confirmed. But like I mentioned, Lightyear, 45 days, Doctor Strange 2, 45 days. So if we are sticking to the 45 day window, you should have Thor 4 on Disney Plus this coming Wednesday. Like I said, just a rumor, not 100% true. We'll see this coming Wednesday if we log into Disney Plus and we can access it. How about that? Over on Amazon Prime, my man Sly Stallone in, I believe, a movie called Samaritan. Paramount Plus has Star Trek Lower Decks Season 3. Peacock is debuting the entire series of The Real Housewives of Dubai. So if you need a little reality show fix, you might want to check that one out. And then finally, on Apple TV Plus, we have C Season 3, the final season. So that is everything happening at the box office and also on streaming. So let me know down below. What did you go and see at the box office this past weekend? Did you choose to see a beast or did you go with anime? Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and I'll see you next time.